Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you some upcycle um, pieces that I've made. Sometimes when I get jewelry in, it's broken or it has rhinestones that I think would um, be good to harvest. You know, just pieces like um, bales, backings to earrings, anything I can find there. Um, I'll harvest it, set it to the side, and I keep a bunch of supplies. So occasionally when I'm not necessarily in the mood to do much, I'll sit around and just kind of make some jewelry or upcycle. Um, so right in front of you, there are two upcycled pieces right here. This one is a um, heart pendant that came with a big rhinestone in the center and it just looks so ugly. So I popped the rhinestone out of there. I grabbed a um, leather chain and some beads I had harvested from, um, I guess another piece of jewelry, added some rhinestones around the inside of this and some silver beads I had found and um, just kind of put that together. So that's what that ended up looking like. And yeah, I mean, that's just practice stuff. Can't get it to focus. There we go. All right. This one right here was an earring. This was actually one of three giant filigree kind of rosette like things that were hanging down from an earring. And it was just incredibly large. And I thought that is so gaudy but that would actually make a really pretty necklace. So I, of course, harvest a bunch of chains when I get them in lots and they're by themselves. And so this one I just put an Aurora Borealis rhinestone in the middle and then um, put a bail on it, got it on the chain, and then added these two little dangles with um, kind of like a uh, quartzy Aurora Borealis um, look to them. So that's another one that I did. Um, and then today, I actually made this one today. Um, this one is my first attempt at doing kind of like a pearl look. I did two strands. Um, I used some rondelle um, little beads and I used just various different color rhinestones. Um, and I'm still having trouble learning how to focus this thing but Still, I mean, you can kind of get the idea. I wish it would focus, but that's sort of what it looks like. And then on the back, it looks kind of horrible, but I had like bronze tone findings here. And then I uh, use a lobster class with an extender on it. So I mean, just like I said, I'm just kind of messing around with the techniques a little bit and learning what I can learn. So I have that one there. And then what else did I have? Okay, I made this cute pair of little earrings. Um, I just really like the beads. So um, they have kind of like a purplish tone and like a moonstone looking bead and some gray sort of sparkly beads. And I liked those. So I said, what the heck? I'll make something out of that. Um, what do I have here? Now this was just a, uh, I think it was a, uh, you know those things that go on scarves? I forget what they're called, but um, I decided to remake that into a necklace. So I just took an old chain and made it into a cute little silver tone necklace. And what else do I have? Oh yeah, this one. This was just kind of a cross with like a kind of fake amber looking stone in the center and I thought it was really pretty, it came by, by itself. Um, so I, I had this chain and I was like, that would look really good together. So I just made that. Um, what do we have here? Oh, yeah. So where'd it go? I went to Michael's and I fell in love with some beads. Um, and I bought them. So this color is gorgeous. I love it. Um, I put them together with this kind of sparkly kind of, I don't know what you would call it. It's not Aurora Borealis. It's not cat eye, but it's gorgeous and I love it. So I made that one too and put a barrel clasp and some seed beads on the back. Um, what was this? 
this. Oh yeah, this was a super easy one. I had this pretty pendant and um, it needed a jump ring and it needed a uh, an actual necklace. So that is what I did with that. But it has this beautiful inlay abalone. So save that one, gave it a second life. Um, uh, this one I was, I was, I think this one I was experimenting with toggle clasp or toggle closures and how you make them. Um, so I just kind of took a bunch of, I had this little, like, uh, this little heart pendant and I sort of just started messing with jump rings and I added a couple little, uh, shell beads and some Aurora Borealis colored, uh, little rhinestone things. And having so much trouble focusing, but yeah. And then the toggle closure on the back, that's really what I was experimenting with. And I decided to put it on a white leather, um, piece of rope, not rope, but white leather, because I thought that would be cooler than black. You see the black one so often, so. Okay, what do we have next? Um, this one, I kind of, uh, I liked it because it's a little bit brutalist looking, but um, I had this sort of hammered look, silver tone necklace with the chain here, and it didn't have a pendant hanging here. So I took these pieces of an old earring and um, added some chain tassels there. And I thought this was really cool because these have almost kind of like a, a copperish or bronzy tone to them. And this is silver and I really like the two-toned look. So I um, upcycled that and it just has a lobster clasp. But yeah, that one is one of my favorites. Um, what else do I have here? Um, this one I made today, it is a lapis stretch bracelet and I really wanted to see how the um, kind of citrine colored crystals would bring out the gold tone in the lapis and I think it did a pretty good job I really like it I'll probably keep this just because I love lapis um, I think this is the first one I did actually, but this one has, um, I don't think this is real stone right here. It's made to look like it. And these are glass, but these right here are real stone. So I just sort of did a graduated effect on that and um, a brass toggle closure. So you can wear it asymmetrically too. It looks really good like that actually. What else, what else, what else? Um, this one I made today. I just took a chain, silver tone chain, piece of dyed howlite that I had and um, added three little silver balls onto it. Just thought that was a nice simple design. And that one actually was fairly easy to make and I'd be confident enough to sell that because the chain was already made and I just added the jump rings and the the balls so what else do I have down here this one is um, one of my favorites that I've made actually I mean I have so many favorites but uh, that one is just because I love the color purple and it has um, I think these are actually I don't know. I don't think these right here are amethyst. These little ones are for sure amethyst. The spacer beads that I have in there are for sure amethyst. But I love Aurora Borealis. So I used some old beads I had that I took from a broken vintage necklace and I paired them with these beads, which I think are glass and, and made to look either glass or plastic and made to look kind of like amethyst. But, um, I put those on there and added some little end caps. And then on the back, I, you can see I still have some work to do. I added a 
barrel clasp and then I'm trying to work on how you use these little clamp things so um, I have a lot to learn but I love this one because it's super sparkly and then what else the last one is actually kind of crazy because it can be worn it's like reversible so this one is a has like this little pendant this was part of an earring um, this was also part of an earring and I found a chain for it so I made this necklace out of it and it's an abalone right here and silver tone I've got to get better at this focusing I mean it's something going on that I need to figure out because what good is a video if you can't see the jewelry in it okay so that's kind of a good look at it and then you can actually if you're not a big fan of the abalone look or your outfit doesn't match it you can actually turn it around it's reversible and you can wear it like that so those are the pieces that I made. I did make a brutalist ring and I of course left it downstairs so I don't want to run and get it but it's really cool. Um, I'm very proud of it. But anyway I just wanted to make a short video and show you some of the stuff I've been upcycling or repairing or you know what I'm doing with harvest materials and so I'll keep it short and sweet. Thank you guys for stopping in. Um, thank you for supporting my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to do so and give this video a like. If you have any comments, you can always uh, leave them. And if you have any questions about any jewelry that you've seen, you can email me at vendecojewelry at gmail.com. I do have Etsy and Poshmark stores. The link is always gonna be in the description of my videos. Have a great night, guys. Thank you.